Hello students of grade 10, my name is Ms. Nisha Bamfield and welcome to another session of Principles of Business. In today's lesson, we'll be looking at promoting sales under the branded category of marketing. Our lesson's objective for today are to define the term sales promotion, list the methods and types of sales promotion, explain the benefits of sales promotion, explain the objectives of sales promotion, and identify the most popular sales promotion techniques. Sales promotion. Sales promotion is a set of marketing technologies aimed to stimulate the demand in particular products and increase brand awareness. Limited in time, it creates a feeling of time sensitiveness, generates new ideas, and keeps existing customers engaged. Have you ever delayed a purchase until the item went on sale? Or made an unplanned purchase because you had a coupon for a product? Or developed loyalty to a brand because you received a free sample? Then, you responded to and participated in a sale promotion. Types of sales promotions. There are two types, customer-oriented sales promotions and business-oriented sales promotions. Customer-oriented. Customer-oriented sales promotions are inducements offered by retailers to consumers, such as buy one, get the other, half off. Short-term price discounts, double coupons offered at grocery stores, or special features such as extra pizza topping with a purchase of 2000 or more for a limited time. Business-oriented sales promotions. Business-oriented sales promotions include of invoice discounts, merchandise allowances and promotional allowances offered to wholesalers and retailers by manufacturers, raw material suppliers, or business product or service suppliers selling to other businesses. There are many methods of promoting sales. However, we will be focused on five methods. These methods are advertising, promotion, public relations, sales promotion, and personal selling. When we think of sales promotions, we must consider the goals associated with it. A successful sales promotion might have one or more goals beyond stimulating demand in the near future. A sales promotion can build product awareness, such as when a new product is introduced to the market or to create interest in a product in a competitive field. For some products, sales promotion can also provide needed information to the consumer by offering a free sample or trial product. Types of sales promotion. These are price deal, loyalty reward, bonus pack deal, giveaways, coupons, mobile couponing, and sampling. Sales promotion is one of the core elements of the promotion mix. To build long-lasting relationship with customers, companies conduct researches to determine the type of sales that work with target audiences. At the same time, seeking to provide customers with value that's relative to their field of expertise. Benefits of sales promotion. It helps to generate new leads, allows for re-engaging with existing audiences, skyrocket revenue returns are gained, it increases brand awareness. It helps to generate new leads. Sales promotion can boost a product image since it encourages sharing information about it within social groups related to the business. 
If training football shoes are promoted and sold, people keen on playing football will share the message. Promotion allows for re-engaging with existing audience. Once a person subscribes to a brand's email newsletters, they will receive regular sales promotions. It is a way to keep the audience engaged and maintain a close connection with the company, which is crucial for building loyalty. Promotion caters to skyrocket returns on revenue. Sales promotions help companies to increase the number of sold goods even though they may need to lower the price to achieve that goal. Of course, merely reducing the price is not enough. People should need and demand a product, while the discount is only another reason to make a purchase. Promotion increases brand awareness. Sales promotion is a way to make a name for a business brand because people are more likely to talk about a company that proposes benefits and saves their money. That's what sales promotion aims to accomplish. Question. In your estimation, what would be the chief way to measure the success of a sales promotion? A. Compare the sales of the product during the sales promotion against when there was no sales promotion in effect. B. Calculate and determine the difference in number of product remaining after the sales promotion given product in stock before sales promotion. C. Analyze the profit and loss statement for the month. And D. Review the overhead costs for promoting and conducting a sales promotion. If you've said A, that is correct. Although the main goal of sales promotion is to increase product demand, several important goals can be reached. Understanding the goals will help manufacturers, suppliers, and service providers create an effective promotion strategy. Sales promotion objectives. These are to launch a new product, attract new clients, stay competitive, run clearance campaigns, sell during off-season, and make existing customers buy more. Launch a new product. If you're going to expand and turn a small coffee shop into a bakery, deliberately seek to reach new market segments. Attract new customers by offering a free cookie with each cup of coffee or suggest visitors set their own price once in a while attracting new clients. The objective should be a long-term goal since it allows any business to grow. The business's potential clients are likely its competitors' customers. So, analyzing all competitors' product and benefits, position the company to offer something more valuable. Staying competitive. Researching and analyzing your competitors will not only help you attract new clients, but constantly improve your product and customer service. Make existing customers buy more. It's always easier to make an existing customer buy more than attract new clients. Provide each client with a personalized approach. 
It will help you build customer loyalty. As a result, clients will promote your brand organically. Sell during the off season. Goods like swimwear, boots, tents, air conditioners, refrigerators are definitely more popular in summer, but you should consider special strategies to sell them throughout the year. Offer time-limited discounts, one plus one equal three campaigns, and other marketing tricks. Run clearance campaigns. They are especially popular before summer and winter. As dealers need to make room for a new collection, they often run total clearance campaigns when users can buy goods from old collections at extremely reduced prices. Sales promotion techniques. These are discounts, time-limited offers, seasonal promotions, one plus one equal three promotions, gifts, holiday promotions, contests, reward points, special prices, first purchase coupons, and free shipping. Discounts. This technique is as old as the hills. Small companies and big corporations use this method to sell more. One of the reasons it is so popular, even today, is that discounts are great for both consumers and retailers. Sellers can clear room in their warehouse for new arrivals and customers can buy more at reduced prices. Keep in mind that a normal discount should be between 5 to 20% since clients won't even notice less than 5% discounts, but more than 20% off will make them feel suspicious about your brand. Time-limited offers. This technique works even better than a big discount. With this trick, marketers manage to create a sense of urgency and fear of missing out on their products. Give clients 24 hours to grab this special offer. To make this technique perform better, advertise all promotions on most viewed channels. This will bring more sales and increase site traffic. Special promotions. People often buy sporting outfits in summer and air conditioners in winter to save money. Selling products during off seasons can be a real challenge. So the recommendation is to run seasonal promotions, sell items from old collections at reduced prices, and don't forget to advertise all campaigns via email and social media. The one plus one equal three promotion. Buy one and get one for free. And buy two items and get the third one for free. Are very similar marketing tricks. Such campaigns help the business sell products at a low price or save money shopping together with a friend. Retailers can significantly boost sales with this technique, reinforcing clearance sales. Holiday promotions. Christmas, New Year's Eve, Halloween, International Women's Day, and Valentine's Day are great chances to skyrocket sales. People are extremely generous when buying presents for their friends and family. Launch holiday campaigns in advance and invest in advertising via email, social media, and other channels. This will help increase brand awareness and site traffic. Gifts. Who doesn't like a free gift? If the business is a startup or about to launch a new product, go for this technique. It will help the business reach big audiences fast, build brand recognition, and collect user-generated content, which is especially valuable for every type of business. Let users try your service for free for seven days. Launch a campaign that will let each client who spend 5,000 or more receive a gift or give away free samples with each order. Contests. Competitors are a great opportunity to boost user engagement and increase brand awareness and sales. Let your audience create a slogan for your brand, a new advertising message, 
design or share creative ideas on how to use your product in an unusual way. Make sure that the price correlates with the effort spent on participating in the contest. Reward points. Reward clients who buy regularly. People love brands that appreciate their choice. So with this technique, the business can start building customer loyalty, give points to each client who makes a second purchase or spends a certain amount of money. Then let them exchange those points for a product they like. Special prices. Marketers usually run a one-day campaign when users can buy everything at a fixed price. These prices usually look tempting for users and they can't overcome the feeling of missing out. The goal may be an annual clearance of goods. Set a fixed price for each product category in the store. For example, sweaters for $9.99, jeans for $8.99, coats for $5.99. This technique works. First, purchase coupons. It always takes time for people to give money to a new store, especially when buying expensive products. To make them think over the purchase faster, offer a special incentive. Send a welcome email to a new visitor with a coupon to get a 10 or 15% discount off their first purchase. For better performance, limit this appealing offer to a couple of days. Free shipping. Very often, users leave your site without buying just because of expensive delivery options. To win back these potential clients, run a time-limited campaign that allows them to receive their orders for free if they spend a certain amount of money. If the business sells medium price goods, do not make this fixed sum too high. Otherwise, people won't fall for this trick. Question. Sales promotion techniques are targeted to something and something. Consumers, producers, exporters, and importers. A, one and two. B, two and three. C, one and three. D, all of the above. If you've indicated C, that is correct. Students, we have come to the end of today's lesson. I hope that you've learned something new. Here is your lesson exercise for today. Number one, select any four types of sales promotion. Define and explain each in no more than 35 words. Two, following our examples of sales promotions. Email marketing, social media marketing, SMS marketing. Identify one organization, domestic or foreign, that uses one of each. In your estimation, suggest one advantage and one disadvantage the organization might have experienced when using the promotional example. And finally, Name one practical promotion of each example listed that you or someone you know participated in.
students, thank you for having me and thank you for paying apt attention. My name is Ms. Nisha Bamfield and I look forward to serving you.